Hi guys, it's Aiden here from Aiden's Unicorn Family. Um, back again with another video. Um, it's just a random Q and A. Um, I have got some more fun, fun videos up and coming for you guys. Mm. So yeah, today's just been a really chilled kind of day to be honest. So haven't done much then I had an email come through with all these questions on it so I thought I would get right into them so let's get straight into these questions shall we so the first question is do you sleep with the closet doors open or closed well I sleep with them closed because I don't really know who would sleep with the wardrobe doors open, so closed. Um, the next question is, do you take shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? Basically, when you stay in a hotel, do you take, when you leave, do you take the shampoo bottles and the conditioner bottles home with you? Personally, no. I don't really use the hotel products. I take my own because... I have sensitive skin and my hair I like to take care of so I use my own products if I go anywhere. Uh, third question, do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out? Me personally, I get into bed and my bed's all neat and crisp and tidy and then halfway through the night my bed just gets messed up. So neither of those really because I can't really put a guarantee on how I'm gonna wake up in the morning because there's just stuff everywhere when I wake up so next question have you ever stolen a street sign no I have never stole a street sign and I don't think I ever will because stealing is naughty um <laughs> Do you cut out coupons and then never use them? Personally, I don't cut out coupons and I don't use them, so no. I don't know if you can hear it, guys, but there's some really nice music in the next room, so yeah. Okay. Would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? Personally, a swarm of bees, because I know that sounds very silly, but um, if you be attacked by a large bear, it's most likely to like totally end your life and like eat you. <laughs> so personally, I would rather be attacked by a swarm of bees. Do you always smile for pictures? Of course I do. Yes, I do. I smile for pictures uh, among other poses. So yes, I do smile for pictures. Do you ever count your steps when you walk? Well, not anymore. Not anymore. When I was younger, I used to do this silly thing like I'd only step on certain bits of the pavement and then count as I went along, but now I don't. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> I haven't been very well recently. So, <coughs> I've sort of come out with this <coughs> cough and stuff like that. It's not like chesty cough or like a, I don't know. So next question, have you ever <laughs> peed in the woods? Okay, funny story guys, funny story alert. Basically, um, I used to go to this one place near to where I used to live at my mum's house. Um, and the one day I got caught short and had to pee in the woods, basically. We used to go to this golf course, um, 
to play a bit of golf. I was very interested in golf when I was younger. I had golf clubs, golf balls and all that. Um, so yeah, we went to play a bit of golf one day and I got caught short. And I had to pee in the woods, basically. Sorry, government. Not my vote. <clears throat> okay. Do you still watch cartoons? Um, me personally, I do not get time to watch any TV at all, to be honest. I don't rarely watch any TV. Uh, so, no to cartoons really either. Where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some? If I had treasure that I felt needed to hide, I wouldn't bury it. I'd put it into like safety deposit or something. I'd like pay for it to be protected instead of burying it and then somebody else finding it I would pay to have it protected yeah safety deposit box or something like that or some kind of lock up somewhere what do you drink with dinner it depends really it depends if I'm having like apana food like Punjabi food or you know desi food and it's really chilly like milch then I will have either milk or water <clears throat> but if it's normal I would go to a restaurant and have like a normal meal then I would have like lemonade or a milkshake or something like that what do you dip a chicken nugget in okay um I dip a ch chicken nuggets though. Yeah. Well, okay. I can't say I've never ate them. They were my favourite at one point. Um, chicken nuggets, I would usually dip in ketchup or some sort of dipping sauce. Like, I don't know mayonnaise or chili chicken nuggets and chili sauce is kind of good yum okay what movies could you watch over and over again and still love them so for me i used to love absolutely love horror films but Recently, as I've got older, I've started to not like them as much. I've started to like more, like, Bollywood movies and, you know, more Asian movies and things like that. So, uh, for me, I'll give you two movies that I would really, um, that I would watch over and over again. So, my first one would have to be, uh, probably... Probably uh, Devil. It's a Bollywood film called Devil. Um, I really enjoyed Devil, so I'd like to watch Devil over and over and over again. Um, and sorry, guys. You keep notice. I keep looking over there. It's because something there's something making a weird noise over there I'm not too sure what it is strange very strange but never mind um, and then my ugh, then my second film that I would watch over and over again would probably most definitely have to be um, Sonam Re Sonam Re film was a really good film for me it kind of hit home a little bit that film did and it was really nice 
don't know if you guys have watched it but if you haven't you need to watch Sanam Re okay um, the next question was would you ever strip or pose nude for a magazine no I would not um, I don't do things like that and I never will Are you afraid of heights? Funny thing actually, I, <clears throat> with me, I used to be afraid of heights when I was a child and it sort of like went away as I got older. But um, recently I went to visit um, a cathedral and I did some filming in there as well. That video is coming. And, um, I filmed some footage in there and then stupid old me decides to say let's climb the tower shall we so um, started to climb the tower got a certain point up in the tower had a massive panic attack and could not move my whole body froze my legs my legs just I don't know I just froze like this and then um, <coughs> I got to a certain point and couldn't go any further so the rest of the people I was with had to carry on up and I waited for them and then when it was time to go back down I literally sat on my bum and went down the stairs on my backside yes so uh, for me, I think I am afraid of heights, but it only comes and hits me when it feels appropriate. Don't ask why, I really don't know. Um, do you believe in ghosts? Now, in many different cultures, ghosts are referred to, well, spirits are referred to in different names and different things that we call them um, I do believe in spirits and I do believe that there are other things out there in this world um, but that's just me everybody else has their own opinion so please don't post any comments that are offensive or are trying to hurt me because believe me it won't work no yes I do believe in spirits and ghosts and stuff that's just me it's the upbringing I had to be honest yes quite a cool family um Nike or Adidas personally I have both things to be honest I have some Nike uh, clothing and I have some adidas clothing as well uh, neither I don't really want to choose that's being disloyal um, can you curl your tongue for what does that mean like like that if that's what it means then yeah I can I really don't know if that's just me being dumb then <laughs> yes I haven't got clear have you ever cried because you were so happy? Yes, yes, that happens. That is my life. I'm always happy. And yes, I do, I am a very emotional person. I mean, I'm not sure if that's just me, but I know some men aren't emotional in any way, shape or form. But myself, I'm a very emotional person and I show my emotions when need be. So yes, I have cried being <coughs> very happy. <coughs> Excuse me. Guys, I am so sorry. I can't apologize enough. I'm just, I, I, I don't know what's going on. Thank you. Sorry, every time I take a drink or I take food, I always say thank you to God. That's just me, that's just me. I'm not sure if anybody else out there does the same, but I'm just a weirdo, so ignore me. Um, 
So, can you swim well? Okay, well, it was only yesterday, um, well, I don't know when this gonna, video is gonna be uploaded, but it was only um, Friday, the 3rd of June, that I went swimming. I went swimming on Friday yesterday, and um, like my auntie, she's always been impressed with the way me and my younger brother Joshua swim because she says that we swim like fishes, we swim like mer people. Mer people don't exist. What am I talking about? <sighs> okay, Ariel, the little mermaid. Mer people, wait, no, I'm confused. <laughs> Mer people do not exist. So yes, I can swim well. I did a life-saving course and got my qualifications for becoming a lifeguard. Um, I have all my um, life-saving badges and certificates. And I have all my um, swimming ribbons from when I was a child. So yes, I can swim well. I swim like a fish. Um, The last question is, are you a dog person or a cat person? Um, I don't have any pets at the moment, but as I was growing up, when I was growing up, we had pets. We had guinea pig, um, cats, kittens, everything like that. My family around me had dogs and things like that. So I've grown up with animals, but at the moment, personally, I don't have any pets at the moment, so yes, I can't really specify if I'm a cat or a dog person. So yeah, guys, that was the end of the questions. Um, so yeah, I'm really sorry that I'm a bit low today and I'm not really feeling myself, but um, once I pick up a bit, my videos will become a bit... <coughs> um, you know more interesting and exciting for you guys so i'm sorry i haven't filmed in a while as well i really do apologize and um yes so i'm gonna call that a wrap for today guys and i absolutely love you unicorn family peace <laughs>